Great day. Welcome back to Mindset Motivation with Miss Tracy. I am Miss Tracy. Mindset Motivation is about inspiring your greatness. We were all born great. We all have our natural gifts that we were born with, our natural talents that we were born with. We were all born great. So it's inspiring your greatness. It is also about reminding you of your value. Every now and then we get to beating ourselves up about not being good enough or somebody else is better or we'll just wait for someone else to do it. Reminding us of our value. We are valuable, we matter, our voice matters. It's important for us to grasp how important we really are. We are very valuable. And the last thing, it's about encouraging you to step into your your desires, your dreams, your goals, your your possibilities. It's about encouraging you to be the author of your life, be an authority of yourself, being who it is that you are meant to be, doing all the things that it is that you are meant to do and having all the things that you are meant to have, want to have, desire to have, want to do, desire to do, want to be, desire to be. It's your desires that are yours. It's up to you to put put forth the action to manifest these things. You know, we gotta make moves, action. So it's about action, it's about encouraging the action. Mindset motivation is about unblocking anything that's keeping us from our greatness, blocking or um, having us forget about our value and, and just kind of like, stopping us in our tracks from being and creating all the things that we are supposed to be and create and doing that. Mindset motivation. So welcome back. So we previously previously talked about our self-imposed limitations. Those continue to pop up. Now we know we can acknowledge them, face them, move forward, move past them. They're going to come up. They'll be there. They come up as a safety mechanism to keep us, you know, keep us in a, in a position where we don't grow, you know, it's, it's stunting our growth. Those, those self-imposed limitations protect us from growing because if we, if we don't grow, then we don't have to worry about all of the, I don't know, whatever comes along with it, all of the, the doubt. And that's what we're talking about today is the doubt. We also talked about our attitude and our gratitude and the power of I am. So the power of I am. When we come across those self-imposed limitations, we acknowledge them and then we step into our own power because we are who we say we are. I am powerful, right? I am powerful. I am elevating. I am elevating. I am elevating. That's my word. I love elevating. So I am powerful. I am elevating. I am happy. I am successful. I am the power of I am. Becoming who it is that I choose to be in the moment we need it. Power of I am. The last show was about attitude and gratitude. Having that positive attitude, that that powerful energy, that high vibration that bounces from you to others. We talked about attitude. Having that positive attitude that keeps you uplifted and it allows um, us to brighten up others' days who maybe they're not having such a positive day at the moment, right? Talk about attitude. Talk about gratitude, being thankful and grateful for things around us. I am, I am grateful for life. I'm grateful to be here to speak today. I'm grateful for God. I'm grateful for my family, my tribes. I am grateful for my ancestors my ancestors on whose shoulders I stand on. They paved the way for me. I'm grateful for my ancestors. Now we're going to move into, as I said, doubt. Let's talk about doubt. What's doubt about? (laughs) Doubt is about giving us that excuse not to succeed. Doubt is the number one killer of dreams, of desires. Doubt gives you the opportunity to Throw out all the things that you that you built up to do, have, <laughs> and be, because now you want to be safe. You want to go back into those self-imposed limitations, like you know, oh, I'm not good enough, or those self beat up about value. You know, you want to go back into those. That gives you that that outlet to not succeed. 
So I remember being younger. And it's funny because I just thought about this. So I remember being younger and, you know, my mom was teaching me how to cook. And so I had to chicken out for me, you know, chicken out um, earlier in the day so I could thaw out. And so once it was thawed, it was time for me to cook the chicken for dinner. You know, I'm like, um, I'm smelling the chicken. Like, I don't know. I'm like, mom, is this good? So I give it to her to smell. And she says to me, like, you know what? It smells fine to me. But when in doubt, throw it out. When in doubt, throw it out. So of course, anytime I come across some meat, some, some meat, some food or anything that does not smell fresh, it got it gotta go. I no, no, we I don't have time to take any chances on the being up at the emergency room with myself or my kids. I don't have time for that. So yes, when in doubt, throw it out. But it makes me also think about doubt itself. When we are on our on track for our dreams and our desires, and then we decide to make up these stories in our head that doubts our success in these dreams and these and these desires, then we have an excuse to throw out the dream and the desire and the desire or put it on hold or postpone it. We throw it out, we throw it to the side. It's time to be aware of that. These things happen. Focus on the desire. Focus on the possibilities. Focus on the dreams. Because it's going to always be an excuse to stop. It's going to always be an excuse to not succeed. If there will always be a reason why you don't have to grow right now. We want to wait for the kids to get a little older. Do it now. There's no time like the present. Because in my experience, what I've learned is time waits for no one. That's why I have ancestors. Because time waits for no one. Do it now. And as you are doing it, focus on the desire. Please understand that as you focus on the desire, there will be hiccups in the road. There will be those, 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 those growth stunners to discourage you. Those will come along. But keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. I understand that so much more these days when, when I think about the civil rights movements. You know, when I was coming up and I was learning about it, I wasn't really embracing it the way that I that I understand it now. As long as you are focused on the, the, the true desire and the true dream, you can get through anything in between. See, Focus on the on the desire, focus on the dream. What you are seeking is indeed seeking you. So seek only that what you desire. Seek only that what you desire. Think about it. Think about the times where you had these goals and you decided that you know, well, I could put it on, I could put it on hold, but then when you finally get around to it, you're you're like, why ain't I being did that? I could have been did that. If I if I had did that, then this and then that. So don't get caught up in your ifs either. My mom had a saying for ifs too, but I'll tell y'all about that another time. Focus on your desire. Focus only on your desire. Please understand there will be hiccups in the road. There will be self-imposed limitations in the road. There will be those doubts. Throw them out and keep it moving. Seek only that what you desire because what you are seeking is seeking you. So my question in the, in the comments today is, what is your desires? What are you seeking? Because it's seeking you. So in the comment box, tell me what your dreams are. What are, what are your desires? Again, this is Miss Tracy from Mindset Motivation. Have a blessed day.